Hello and welcome to this presentation on Mobius Institute's products, training and certification. My name is Jason Tranter, the founder and managing director of Mobius Institute. First I'd like to go through just a little bit of the history of Mobius. Mobius is formed in Melbourne, Australia, or actually just outside Melbourne, Australia. But we also have offices in the United States in two places, Belgium, Costa Rica, and a development center in India as well now. Mobius was formed in 1999, and originally we worked on and developed e-learning products. I'll talk about those in a moment. And then in 2004, 2005, we started doing uh, training and then certification. Category 1, 2, 3, and now 4 in more recent times. And then in 2011, we broke the company in two and created the Mobius Institute Board of Certification so that we could become accredited to deliver independent certification. And in more recent times, we created the iLearn Reliability product. And I'm going to go through each of those in just a little bit of detail in just a moment. But this is Mobius Institute today. There's our offices in each of the countries. I didn't mark India there. And in each of those other places, in fact, there's many more dots than that, we have training centers. They're in over 50 countries, servicing even more. We've got students in 140 countries, uh, really quite broad these days. Now, the most important thing I want to say is just how important training is for a number of reasons. You know, training provides people with the knowledge they need or you need to do your job and the confidence to do that job properly and feel comfortable doing that job. It provides people with skills to do that job, whether it's alignment or balancing or just vibration analysis or running a reliability improvement program. With our training, we seek to clarify and demystify all of these complex topics, again, whether it's vibration analysis or precision lubrication or root cause failure analysis. You know, we need to clarify those issues and demystify them so that they're well understood and therefore can be used. And one of the, one of the most important areas is to help to change the reliability culture of an organization because knowledge is so important and the skills are so important but unless everyone within the organization believes in these areas of reliability improvement and condition-based maintenance it's hard to really achieve the benefits possible so in the early days, back in 1999, we wanted to solve the problem of how do you teach people about vibration analysis without forcing them to come to a, a training classroom. I had personally been involved with vibration analysis for many years and saw a lot of people either buying the products that we created and people just generally in the industry using very sophisticated tools and products and systems without the training to truly understand them and therefore to take full advantage. So that's where I learned vibration came from. You know, five days of training in a classroom, if it's even five days long, is great, but what do you do about the other 360 days? Where do you turn to if you have questions? Well, that's what I learned vibration is for. It's not just training, but it's a great reference system as well. It's filled with animations and simulations. It's self-paced training. You go through it at your own pace. You can repeat it as many times as you like. It's all narrated, so it's very easy to learn that way. And it has some additional very interactive modules in the uh, I Learn Vibration professional version. I Learn Signals, Case Histories, Hands-On and Machine Faults lets you analyze vibration and, and do so much more. So that was our flagship product for quite a few years. We have customers all over the world. We still sell it today for sure. And as you can see, it's just a series of slides. So each one's narrated. It's got the text there so that you can follow it. Lots of animation, lots of graphics. There are about 2,000 of those slides all broken up into different topic areas. Then we have I Learn Alignment. A lot of people doing shaft alignment with dial indicators, even with very sophisticated, fancy laser alignment systems. You know, it's 
easy to press the buttons. That's not the issue. The question is whether you understand issues like shaft alignment, tolerances, thermal growth and dynamic growth, and, and what precision alignment means. And what we see is a lot of places where there's only one or two people may be comfortable with the laser alignment system and a lot of people aren't. And so training is needed to build up the skills and knowledge and particularly if uh, you don't perform that alignment task very often. It's great refresher training. So I learn alignment covers dial indicator alignment and laser alignment, goes through all the pre-alignment checks and so on, you know, including soft foot checks and correction. But it's also very very animated, narrated, and it's great for anyone, whatever their previous level of knowledge, training, and experience uh, may be. And like the other iLearn products, it's just filled with you know simple slides, narrated, lots of graphics, lots of animations to make it all very understandable. This product actually came about a little later in our history, but it's similar in terms of its four uh, rotor balancing, in situ rotor balancing, not shop balancing. A and again, most vibration analyzers give you the tools to do the balancing, which is fine if everything goes smoothly and all you're seeking to do is reduce the vibration levels back to sort of, you know, normal. But I learn balancing helps you to really understand the balancing process, making sure the machine's actually out of balance, making sure you understand what single, two plane and no phase and static couple balance are all about, that you get your tolerances and, and perform precision balancing correctly. Um, and again, it's filled with animations, uh, it's very interactive and it's all narrated. So all good stuff. And so here are some uh, some of the slides, just very graphical, little bit of text on each slide with just a little narration to, to go through. Now, even though we had iLearn Vibration helping people to uh, understand vibration analysis, uh, we thought we'd take it a step further. And Interpreter actually helps the analyst analyze spectra. So imagine you're looking at your computer screen, whatever system you're using, Emerson, Proof Technic, SPM, your Comtest, you know, it do doesn't matter. You've got a spectrum on the screen. All you do is drag this little helping hand down in your system tray, drop it onto the spectrum, and interpreter will look at the pixels right on the screen. It's not reading your database or anything. Looks at the pixels and says, I see a spectrum and I see unbalance or a bearing fault or gear mesh or whatever it is. It will it works with just about every uh, vibration analysis software program. It helps with the diagnostic process, you know, identifying faults and patterns that you may not have recognized, but it teaches you how to do the analysis yourself. And if it's if you own iLearn Vibration, it can then open iLearn Vibration at the relevant point. So if you're wondering about how the bearings were the bearing fault was diagnosed, well, it'll jump into iLearn Vibration and tell you. So that's mostly what happened up until about 2004, 2005. And we'd had lots of requests from people saying, please, can you give us to all these animations and simulations in a training class, not just via iLearn Vibration. So cutting a long story short, we said, yep, fantastic. You know, a lot of people like to learn in a group in a training class, just focus time, you know, three, four, five days of training, whatever you needed. But the trouble is, from my own experience, when I originally had to go through training and then when I had to deliver training, you know, before I started this company, these classes can be a little boring. It can be rather dry and, you, and you're using very basic techniques to explain some very complicated topics. So, you know, often I felt that you were asking the students to just take your word for it. You would state that something is a certain way. This is how you diagnose this fault or that fault. This is how your analyzer works. And it's just like, you know, you may not understand it, but just take my word for it. And, you know, I sometimes worry people ended up more confused than when they started. So that's why we started um, uh, the training classes, which we now run all over the world using all of the animation, simulations, and other things that I'll mention in a moment. So, you know, okay, that's not really from a vibration training class, but boy, some training can be just so theoretical on the one hand or just, just a bit 
basic and boring what can I say you know and that's how I feel sometimes it's you know people falling off to sleep in the classroom anyway jokes aside so we've now created lots and lots over a thousand animations which take you inside the machine inside the analyzer explaining all the fault condition just lots and simulators that likewise explain what's happening inside the machine, inside your vibration analyzer, and in other areas as well, just to make it entertaining uh, and much, much more understandable. It's amazing how we can get rather complex topics across uh, very quickly with our animations and simulations. So let's just go through just a few. Boy, we could be here for hours. If to go through them all but just to give you an idea of some of the ways these uh, animations work just to give you a taste for them we've got lots and lots on different types of bearing faults explaining the vibration and the fault condition itself for example if you have contamination and there's these little particles that might be just a few microns in size you know what what can happen to the bearing as a, as a result um, trying to explain the forces involved with misalignment, for example, why you see the phase relationships you do, why you see the vibration you do, and so on. In some cases, the animations are quite sophisticated. This one shows our brand of wind turbines. Just kidding. No, we just make animations. But sometimes it's hard to understand what's going on inside a machine, let alone what all the vibration would be about. And we have fantastic animations, not only about the so-called balance of plant machines with rolling element bearings, but big process machines looking at dynamics and, and all of that as well, you know, bending uh, criticals and, and, and so on and so forth, you know, particularly for our Category 3 and Category 4 training. You know, trying to explain what uh, orbits are about. You know, imagine a machine, exaggerated of course, you know, moves in a certain motion, well, that's what the orbit looks like. That's where the orbit comes from and we'll see in a second how that's transformed into a into a data plot as well. So again these sorts of animations really help to explain what's happening inside the machine um, which explains therefore the vibration readings you see. Um, you know here for example we just see the shaft sitting on its little oil wedge with uh, two proximity probes. We have so many animations that explain so many things. And then we have simulations as well and, and sort of more sophisticated animation. So this one really basic. This oh, we take this is how we take vibration readings. You know, we put the sensors on the machine. Uh, this is the real basics of vibration. You know, imagine you've got a shaft moving in that circular motion because of unbalance. Well, that's what a that's how the dial indicator would move. So that's the basic way of explaining it. Or a displacement probe, velocity probe. Um, you know, people love this one. So we've got vibration from the shaft, from the bearing, from the fan, from the bearing I said, different speeds. Let's look at it in uh, three dimensions instead and, and that's where the FFT comes from. All of these, you know, I'd love to spend more time explaining some of these, but this this really helps people to understand what's going on because when we transform it, you say, oh, that's what a spectrum is. You can now visualize those three waveforms behind those peaks and then you can say, okay, well, I now know why the peaks change and where they're coming from and so on. These are the sorts of things where when you show a user simulation like that, people understand so much more quickly and it's actually interesting and informative rather than something that might put you to sleep. You know, some concepts aren't too hard to understand but it still makes it easier when you can you know see what's going on whether you're explaining vectors or the balancing process you know just lots of ways to make it a bit more interesting uh, we use these in our e-learning as well so you can do it yourself uh, we got uh, thermography you know explaining how that works got lots of animations and all of these settings actually work would you believe uh, and orbit plots hey you know we can put the uh, we can slow it down put probes on it uh, put the key phaser there we can move the probes around make it smaller you know change the uh, the amplitude change the phase we can get all sorts of different orbit shapes going lots of things we can explain which is done so much more effectively with tools like this rather than a bunch of diagrams now even with all of those animations and simulations we still appreciate the fact that you know, if you've just got three or four or five days of training, um, 
there still may be too much to try and absorb in a short time. So why not learn about it before you come to the class? So when you register for one of our classes, you are given access to what we call the learning zone. You get to see movies of me actually teaching the course and going through modules and using all the simulations and animations right there on your computer screen so that you can you know, get begin to understand all these topics before you actually go to the class. Now when you're in the class and your instructor talks about the same topics, you're going to think, ah, okay. Now maybe you're hearing it for the second or third time. It makes more sense. You've got good questions to ask. And then if you find, you know, a month or so later, you're thinking, what was that he said about, you know, uh, cavitation or rolling and bearing folds? Well, you can go back to the learning zone for the next six months. And then there's lots of ways to learn sort of in parallel with the classes from all of our MyMobius presentations we have on our website, you know, in the, in the knowledge zone, our iLearn products, iVibe that I'll mention shortly, and um, in the forum and so on. So, when you go through that pre and post study training in the learning zone, it sort of looks like this. You've got on the left hand side of your screen me teaching the class and then what's on the screen is here in uh, larger size so that you can see exactly what's going on. So you are listening to me teach the class um, and you can see exactly what's, what's happening. And you can go through quizzes as well just so you can tell that you're understanding it. Our slides we try to keep them nice and clean and you know uh, easy to understand but you know what as an instructor there are times when you are looking into the eyes of of the students in the class wondering do they understand what I'm saying you, you're looking into their eyes and you could point to a person and say hey uh, you know can you answer this question and that person feels the stress and thinks oh no I've got to answer it everyone will think I'm a duffer if I get it wrong and of course whether that person answers it right or wrong, you don't really know what that person understands and you sure don't know what every other student understands. So all of our training centers use a, uh, a special polling device, which I'll get to in a moment, we'll just go through, these polling devices. So what happens is at the beginning of the class, you are given one of these little keypad gizmos which has a number on the back and we record what number you got and as we go through the class we ask questions so as you as we cover a topic we ask some questions cover another topic ask some more questions so a question might look like this how do you convert from peak to RMS and so even if you've just been through the training and you should know the answer ideally you might think oh you know what I don't know the answer and this is the way we can find out because everyone clicks their little button with the right answer and if the instructor sees a result like this and says oh dear okay I didn't explain it properly I need to go over it again therefore the instructor can explain what the correct answer is and you know if a, a number of people got a specific wrong answer you can explain why that is wrong on the other hand if a hundred percent or close enough to it get the right answer you can say terrific you understand let's move on so it's great for the instructor and really good for you the student because you then get to know hey am I actually understanding this or not you know it's it's great what's more we get to see the results and no one else in the room knows who's getting the questions right and wrong but we can look at them in the break and see oh you know Fred over there is struggling in this particular topic area let's pull them aside before class the next day or after class and and explain it a bit more you know to that person so a few little things about what we've achieved over the years with our training we now have training centers servicing over 50 countries. The training's available in 14 languages as of right now. The exams are available in 18 languages. We have, as of right now, June 2015, we have over 16,000 students go through our classes. That's not the e-learning, distance learning, and all the other training we do. That's just the vibration classes. And you can go to our homepage and see how many people have been through the classes as of right now. And as of right now, they come from 152 countries. So that's where we are. You can see the growth. Uh, that This particular year stands out because we had a company go th take a lot of people through category one we still do a lot of training like that but we actually have a custom course we create so we don't 
included in our statistics. But you can see that this year we expect to go over 3,000 students trained in, in just the one year. And lots more people trained through iLearn Vibration, iLearn Reliability. Even on YouTube we have over 200,000 views. So not everyone can attend the classroom. You know, it might be travel costs, accommodation costs, the time away. You know, if you're a consultant, you can't get away. And besides, um, not everyone feels comfortable being in a classroom and, and being expected to learn things quickly. There are a lot of benefits to distance learning, learning at your pace, just going through it bit by bit by bit um, and going over the topics you don't feel comfortable about. And that is what distance learning is for. And it's just like the movies you see in the uh, learning zone. You can go through them. Uh, you see all the simulators being used and you hear me talk about the topics and away you go. You get to learn a lot about all of the uh, topics that come up would normally come up in a class. It fully complies with the standards so that you can go through distance learning and then be certified afterwards. So, I mentioned certification. Now we have other presentations on this, but the Mobius Institute Board of Certification is accredited according to ISO IEC 17024 and ISO 13, uh, 18436. Just the same way as Vibration Institute and the British Institute of Non-Destructive Testing, we are accredited. Um, we are accredited by the Joint Accreditation Society Service sorry, of Australia and New Zealand because we are located in Australia. Um, that's where our head office is. But ANSI do it for Vibration Institute, United Kingdom Accreditation Service accredits BINDT. So that's a very quick run through our various products and a little bit of the history. Thank you very much for viewing this presentation and thanks for being interested in our products and services. I hope you find something that meets your needs. If you have any questions, there's my email address or you can email learn at mobiusinstitute.com and we can help you but we've got training centers all over the world and on our website you will see the contact details of our partners and feel free just to go straight to them if you're interested in training classes or the products thank you very much for viewing this presentation